All right. Well, they didn't die overnight, and I got a level up, which is good. Cool. And I'm actually, you know, a, a good beyond quarter way to my next level from the amount of fighting I just did. And the sun's um, rising. Yeah. Buttercup is more perceptive. Dappling is more willful. Isdar is much more healthy, which is really cool. Isdar has gained two health, eh? And Almbal is more intelligent. And in Avakis, Garun and Fitomiga are better with speechcraft. Mooglimo is healthier, and Airedale is more dexterous, which is, you know, nice combination of things there. Uh, how much fuel have you got? You got enough fuel. I'm just going to have to hope, just hope that Ambal survives through the night. Um, if I have a look. Ambal has got two of six health. So close. Oof. <laughs> So close to a point where they'd be they'd be safe from that. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Now, the, the, there's a saving grace here. If the healing tick happens first and then the death check happens last in the order of things, then I'm, at that point, Ambar won't be um, at risk of dying because any amount of healing right now will take them out of the danger zone for death. But if the death check happens earliest in the queue of things to happen on turn 10, then there's a chance that they'll die. There we go. Well, good luck in keeping them alive. Thank you. Right, I'm just going to um, turn, uh, end the turn because in one more turn, my guys will have some meat, so... Better one? Yeah, but I've got this one. It shouldn't be too bad. The wounds are spread out to other characters, so uh, that puts oh, off good. the wounds, but that's not going to put them in the danger zone. Also, picked up an iron mask. Very nice. Gives shielding, naturally. That's awesome. And no one died. Yay. Oh, I'm very pleased. That would have been such a wretched thing to happen so early on. I know. How mean of him to attack your camp. You just sitting there peacefully, minding your own business. I know. Just, you know, set up camp right next to the, the, where they live. Yeah. <laughs> you know? How was I supposed to know that the undead was so territorial, damn it? They hate tourists. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um. Right. Well, that, that the, the good thing there is I got a lot of EXP, which is going to strongly uh, set my, my group for the future. Uh, we're doing all right with gathering... Yeah, I'm going okay with gathering for a while. I really, super badly, I'm going to need to build a cabbage patch. I usually uh. don't make a cabbage patch in this game. I usually just, you know, make my way through the game and just find children along the way. You know, as you do, you just find children and take them home with you. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, I'm really badly going to need to set up some way of, of, of replenishing my population. Did you lose someone then? No, but I've got no children in in Avakis, and I I really do badly feel that I need to, you know, kickstart mm. the, the growth of my population. Yeah, um, I don't think I saw any children. The children just show up in your inventory, don't they? <laughs> yes. And I don't think I saw any in the inventory for Vatumnix either. I somehow knew someone in chat would 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 go for that. Like we just got the dudes in. I tried that once, Avak. Apparently, it's called kidnapping. <sighs> <laughs> well, that that the dude, he's dodgy. That's he why is. he is. Goes kidnapping people. Don't listen to him. That was a lot of fighting, though. An awful lot of fighting. Do you know what I'm going to do at this late stage of the game? Late stage? <laughs> well, for what I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to rename my expedition. I was wondering <laughs> if you were ever going to do that. Uh, I thought I'd be guessing. Mind. I'm only going to call them something really boring, like Scouts or something anyway. Oh, She Lab Scouts. All right, She Lab Scouts. There we go. Got to go for the alliteration. I'm good at alliteration. Check my channel. Um, Lady She Lab? No, go check all the titles to... Um, oh, all the, all the titles. Right? Yes, yes, yes. You, you're very good with the alliteration. Like, in your video every titles, single Stardew Valley is an alliterative title. 
So I'm very good at it. Okay, um, the scouts need to move. They need to uncamp finally and actually move about the place. Right. Where can you go? Where the scouts are right now is actually quite nice. Vegetables, fruit, and meat. Well, that's and why they green. were there. They were getting some wow. meat and stuff. They camped out there for a while. Eventually, I'm going to have a group literally just up there gathering all of that. That is fantastic. Because we could each have a dedicated gatherer group there. One person sitting on the, the vegetables, one person sitting on the meat. Yep. Both people would get exactly the same resources. All yeah. five resources would be available to each. So that'd be something like once we had more people, we'd just set yeah. um, hunting, sort of gathering hunting groups out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty cool. Uh, that's it for me. Okay, gather some more herbs, some more grain. I think that's it for the dudes' dudes. We're going to decamp and move on, I think. Uh, actually, maybe I should have checked have the look. status, but yeah, we're good. I uh, don't need to visit the ZOD at the moment. I could go see the hangman. I think I will. I think I will go see the hangman. But I'm going to take a bit of a winding path up there. If I can explore a little bit more around the area that I'm going. Yeah, may as well. Yeah. Also, I can gather some more food. This time, mushrooms. I'm running low on... Uh, Actually, the dude's dude's going to have to be camped for a little while longer because I'm starting to run low on fuel. So I'm going to wait there, gather a couple of turns worth of um, mushrooms and one bunch of fuel. I'm doing back in the Vacus now. Doing quite well. In a Vacus, they've got five different food types that they're eating right now. I should really mm. turn most of them off. Really, only be eating two, and that is the grain and the bread. Uh, now that I'm actually producing it in decent amount of I need to make sure that my guys are actually eating the meals and stuff. Which they are, that's cool. But I've got tons of it, I've got 96 of those, um. Oh, what's it called? It doesn't tell me when I hover over it. But yeah, I've got 96 of one particular meal type that's, uh, I think, uh, meat and veggies. I think I might actually go ahead and make some crafting tools. Mm. I'm going to make some out of gold and dark wood, which will give me uh, eight research points. It'll weigh 64 kilos. Wow. That's okay. heavy. That is really heavy. See, but... I can't make gathering tools because I don't have the... It's like straw or something it needs. Oh, gathering tools. No, I'm making crafting tools. But I think I can make crafting tools. Yeah. That would not surprise me. It'll be worth having this, though, because it's going to make everything a little bit easier. I can give it to one of my secondary crafters just to boost them up a little bit to the same crafting level as my primary crafter. Okay, that's my turn ended. Yeah, that's my turn as well. Oh, I've got an encounter. Oh, okay. Best of luck. An old dwarf. It doesn't seem to be a, a fight, though. An old dwarf passes by your village, stopping only for a drink and a chat, if you're willing. I have the options of what, no, rob him blind. Yeah, share a drink, then kill him or untake his stuff. That's the meanest <laughs> option, isn't it? Like, I would say that's the break meanest. Break like, and then kill you, him. You, you, can, you can be a jerk. Or you can be a scumbag jerk, mm -hmm. basically. Those are those two options. I'm going to go with option three, which is sure have a drink with him. I'm glad you're going to go for option three, because dwarves are nothing to mess with in this game. All right. Dwar Good. Like, early on, like, one-on-one, -on -one, early on, a dwarf will easily win. A dwarf, one-on-two or three might win <laughs> early on. Um, later on, it's a little bit e more even, but dwarves... They're uh, pretty badass. Pretty tanky and very strong and do a lot of damage. Oh dear. Good job I was nice to him then, because he told me where a mine was, so I share a drink and some stories, as thanks the dwarf tells you of an old mine he knows. He marks the location on your map, and I go, great. Okay. Take care, Moogly Moo. Have a nice night. Bye, Moogly Moo. He marks a route for a gold mine. Good, worth checking out. And I got one XP. On the next turn, I'm just going to show the uh, setup 
for the people who were asking in chat. The god is Mokosh, and I've got Mokosh at level 3, so we started with Green Fingers, our villagers are faster at gathering. Mother's Helpers, all of your villagers get plus one bonus to gathering. And plentiful, plentiful Foods, an extra food resource in the village is guaranteed. Wow. And as... Oh, go that ahead. That gold mine is miles away. <laughs> it's right in the middle of the fog of war, and I can't even tell what direction. Uh, as for the current uh, settings, if I go to current score, it should... Oh, no, it doesn't really tell me what the overall um, difficulty settings are. Uh, I did show it at the beginning of the stream, though, so after the stream, you'll be able to check the VOD and see that. Sorry, I can't uh, give you a better, better answer than that one, I'm afraid. Now, I do want... I'll, I'm going to take off fruit pies. I don't want the fruit pies being eaten or any new foodstuffs to be consumed for the time being. Returns on that. Right, where's the dudes dudes? One turn on getting some mushrooms. In fact, I'm just going to switch them around. There we go. I will get wood and mushrooms on the next turn. Alright, I am good. Cool. Um, I'm just going to explore some ruins, but there's there's more snakes. Snakes everywhere. Okay, so um, I stumble across some ruins of an old city engulfed in Mr. Mystery, and I'm going to search it. It's a one skull okay. encounter. Um, I didn't need to fight anything, and I got some... Sandstone, grain, and coal. And two XP okay. and some research. That's pretty worth it. Excellent. Next turn. Mushrooms, grain. Unfortunately, the dudes do start to get low on food, and then it's starting to worry me a little bit. So, food up ahead near the hand ground. That was poor. That was very poor. Oh well. I'm going to camp just so that they get a benefit to healing should they need it, but I don't think they're going to really benefit from it. Um, Doodoos have got 6 turns worth of food and 18 turns worth of fuel. And Avak has got 23 turns worth of food and 15 turns worth of fuel as well. How's things going for you? Um, good. I am just quickly rearranging my production. Um, as I said, I didn't need to fight for the ruins. Um, I might go and get those snakes on the next turn, just so they're out of the way. But that's wow, the end of my turn. Wow, you've got 74 turns worth of fuel at the Tumnix. Yeah. That is bonkers insane. Do you need any? <laughs> no. Wow, do you need that much is the question. <laughs> I've taken everyone off wood now. Ah, right, I see. They're on um, um, grain and vegetables, but see how much food I've got there as well. Yeah, there's a lot of food there, actually. Right, I'm going to park myself and gather a huge amount, I hope, of fruit, just to bolster the dudes' dudes' food. How many different types of food have they got? They haven't got that many, actually. I'm going to allow them to eat all of those three. There we go. Plus one health and plus one will as well. I'll give him an extra couple of turns. They're up to ten turns now. All right, um, that's my turn done. Bit of a boring one. Sorry about that. Ah, sometimes they have to be boring ones, otherwise you can't be exciting all the time. But I, I want to be. Well, the excitement I must becomes endeavor. boring in itself because there's no ups oh, and downs. Wow, that's, deep. that's deep. See, you you just pull pull the whole. If everyone's special, no one is. Exactly. Like, that, wow. I'm going to start calling you Syndrome now. Sorry. <laughs> it's just, it's going to have to be the way. Well, I'm off to fight some snakes, so I'm going to bring some excitement into this. At least one person in there has got your back, viewers. <laughs> Go okay. for it. Best of luck. Die, snakes. Die. Right, while you do that, I'm going to grab a drink. Huh. 
Okay, um, guys in chat, I have only got one option here, and that is to just fight them. I cannot hunt them or anything like that. And I have Futaurus and Marrow in my offensive deck. And everybody else is in the tactical deck. But all their abilities are over their names, so I can't see who they are. It's Renard and Elfwine in the uh, tactical deck. So I'm against four warped snakes at the moment. And they got the first turn. Because they're cheating scumbags. I managed Damn to kill, those cheating snakes. I managed to kill the first snake with Fatoris's pierce attack. He has actually a really effective pierce attack. It's like 16 pierce or something. Pretty cool. Sumi did just point out one of the reasons why we've chosen to uh, stream this rather than just record it, and that is given the amount of like dead time that one or the other of us has when a lot is happening, like fights and stuff for the other person, yeah, I, we can just kind of engage with chat a little bit more and, and be a little bit more uh, involving. Yeah. Um, so in a way, this, this game is actually much more suited for streaming, in my opinion, in its current state. Definitely. In the multiplayer, that is. Take care, Cal. Confused snake. Al Young believes that there are snakes skin boots in your future. <laughs> well, I think. And I. Go ahead. All the snakes are confused. Every single one of them is confused because they used snakes out of the tactical deck. So hopefully, I can get them before they get me. Hooray! I did. Yes. Bye, bye, snakes. No wounds for me. Yes. Well done. And I got some it. scaled leather. How much? Just one. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. That was rubbish. Not a very good return. I got XP and research point though. That was worth doing. Okay. Well, I have villages without tasks apparently, so I'll just go sort that out before I end the turn. Okay. Uh, in reply, Iced Phoenix, I have thought about another Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead Let's Play. Um, I've thought about it quite a lot, actually, and I've thought about streaming it as well. I haven't come to any conclusions yet. I've just thought about it. And yes, you can actually expand, expand the town's borders in this DLC. That is one of the new um, features that has been added by the multiplayer DLC, is you can now expand out. And again, just to reiterate, this is not paid for DLC, it is free DLC. Ooh, I can make a fine cardigan. That looks oh, quite nice. nice, actually. It's got frilly sleeves and everything. <laughs> they look like flowers. Okay, gonna make that. I need to find some more vines, they're quite good. They're for armor, which is pretty awesome. So I'll stick my crafters on that. Lolash has nothing to do with it. Everyone's decided to stop doing their jobs for some reason. I'll get them sorted. Lolash, go get some herbs. There we are. Right, turn ended. Ah, finally, my hammer has been made. Hurrah! Yay! Oh, I think mine has as well, actually. Now, if I go to equipment and give a moogly moo. This crafting hammer, yes. which Moogly Moo can easily wield because she's a warrior and has a lot of strength. Her crafting is now equal to my best crafters. So they can just work in tandem, making glorious, delicious, amazing foods. <gasps> Nuts! Nuts can be used in place of greens. Oh, oh. That's so good. Fantastic. I can make it. Oh, it's still fruit pie. You're still making this? fruit pie. There's no granary roll. What about this? Ooh. There's no porridge. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to make a healthy porridge. No, I'm not. I lied. I'm I'm gonna make I'm gonna make fruit pie. I don't I don't care. I want fruit pie. But eventually, porridge. Okay. Set these up actually. Let's see if there's anywhere interesting looking for my guys to go. Oh, I found the gold mine. I'm gonna go oh, towards well, it. Uh, enemies in the way. There's oh skeletons. Okay, I'm gonna go and 
attack the skeletons. Now, for those who are watching what I just did, um, rather than making Next. the fruit pies with nuts an infinite craft, the reason why I haven't done that is because I have a finite amount of nuts, and I don't know when I'm next going to top that up. But by making it an infinite craft, what will happen is my crafter won't leave the job when they can't make any more. They'll just wait for more fuel, uh, well, more resources to be brought to them so that they can continue. So instead, I've told the uh, to make as many fruit pies out of nuts as they possibly can, which they're going to do. And then, once a crafting job ends, the crafter who is working on it will drop down to the next crafting job below them. Oh, I didn't available. know that. That's cool. So, by stacking it like that, I'm making it so that my crafter will... Oh, thank you very much, Stu Madsen, for the continued subscription. But by doing it like that, I've made it so that uh, Moogly Moo will just move down and start working on the other types of fruit pies as soon as she's finished with the nut fruit pies. Which just sounds weird. Nut fruit pies. Watch those crazy bees by you. What? Oh. Mm. Yeah, four crazy bees. Mm. Not not fond of that one, I've got to be honest with you. Not a big fan. However... What have you uh, researched, by the way? So far, I've only had one research point so far, and it was um, put into, uh, let's see, getting the vines unlocked. Okay. Um. I'm tempted of making a cabbage patch. I'm really, really tempted to unlock that. What do I've you need to rings. make it? Is it a lot of uh, materials? Well, you need 25 wood or 25 mineral. 25 grain, uh, that's the primary. Then you need 25 grain, fruit, vegetable, or um, like fiber. Or, or Yeah, I think it's fiber. That's the secondary. And then 10 wood, 2 metal, or 6 fiber is the catalyst. So it's quite buildable right now. It just mm. might not be in a very uh, strong version. But I'm going to make, I'm going to unlock that because I really want to start getting some, uh, some children to a vac is in fact on that note look at a pasture yeah that's what i was just thinking i might want to look at making a pasture i need a lot of wood that's all i need right now or some more quartz would allow me to make a pasture so if i can get if i can find a source of quartz that would be ideal yeah i have enough stuff to make a pasture so i'll just go ahead and start it yeah, that's that's great. Try to make it the best you can because the stuff you make it out of will affect what you um, like, what creatures it might attract. Oh right, um, I'm making also... it out of um, vegetables and just normal wood. Right, that's probably it might have a human attraction rating. Right, but it probably won't have any attraction for anything more exotic than that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's probably going to have a fairly low resource turnout. They'll like, make one meat per turn or something like that. Okay. Whereas if you made it out of granite and grain... So do you think I should wait and get some better materials together first, then? No, if, if, you've got, if you've got the means to make it now and it's not something super rare for you, then go ahead and make it. It's better to have that we making can make, you something yeah, every turn. Because it's vegetables and wood, which is things that I just get in my village anyway. And I can yeah. make as many as I want on our difficulty settings, can't I? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'll make it then. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna spend another three turns. Oh, am I? Or am I not? E hmm. Dudes, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have the dudes, dudes spend another three turns just gathering some more food. I think. Hello, Harvest. Oh, what a joyous morning! I wake up and Avak is streaming with Chilab. Yes. <laughs> That's very sweet. Thank you. Right. I've ended my turn because I've got no more movement points. Oh, those okay. skeletons are coming closer. I thought they were going to attack me, but they didn't. But I'm going to attack them. Ha ha ha. Now, you said you actually have vines, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Have we found anywhere with, like, um, straw? 
Um, because we need straw to be able to make cra uh, gathering tools. That's the the most basic thing you can I'll use. I'll do my for. fight and then I'll have a look. Uh, it's just a normal no. undead skeleton fight, so you guys know about those. You've had them read a hundred times. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't see any around the place. So. Right, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn as well, and we'll wait to see cool. what happens with Shia. Oh, a uh, ruin has popped up fairly close by. Awesome. I won't be a minute. It's only skeletons. Now back. Can just confirm that shift left click will quickly move items in inventory. Thank you very much, Daikoi. And take care, Dwarf Digger. No fear. One three three seven asks, "Am I as cute as I sound?" That's very nice of you to Are say. You? Uh, probably not, but it's very nice of you to say <laughs> I sound cute. I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure you are. Or are you going for the "I'm not cute, I'm sexy" kind of approach? In which case, you know, <laughs> fine. Uh, you, uh, is there? Is that just the two options you have there? You know. I know, no, there, there are lots of other options between cute and sexy, and beyond cute and sexy, you know, it's kind of like a spectrum. Right, you know, I see. Cute is at one end, sexy is at the other. Yeah, that was a complete cakewalk. Well then. And I've got a shield and a monster bone. <laughs> Pigman King, Smexy. That that is probably the best way to describe anyone, actually. Smexy is an awesome word and needs to be used more, in my opinion. I see. I'm ending my turn. Okay. Yay, I've made some fruit pies. Delicious, delicious fruit pies. You're gonna bring me some? No. Oh, why wouldn't you do that? That's so mean. Because I'm mean. Right, there we go. I should be able to build up some. Uh... I need to keep an eye on the food and wood situation for my guys. Yeah. Six wood and. Oh, only nine. Oh, it's raining outside. Do let me know in chat if you can hear the rain. Um, if it becomes a problem. Yeah, Nineteen I'll, I'll food. Oh no. Did someone just break a hive? Did you break a hive down there? No. Oh, there's a level two hive up by your town. <gasps> you must have been there the whole time. Oh, scallywags. I don't see it. Right. Uh, it's just outside my... It's just... Oh, it must be because um, you've cleared the fog of war a little bit up there. That's probably where the bees came from. It might be. Well, no, the bees are level They're one. They're level one. So... Maybe, maybe it upgraded. Because those yeah. bees have been there a while. Well, I've got one more turn here, and I get the mushrooms. Then I'm going to move on, deal with the bees, deal with the hang, and see how things go. Okay. Um, I think they're still working on my pasture, so I'm just ending the turn there. 